Vibrant greens are so fun. It's springtime right now and these colors are fabulous to feature for garden beds, for exterior, for interior pieces that you really want to pop and have stand out. We've got some fabulous colors in the line here. Now these four are part of our original 24 in the Fusion series and then we also have the new Michael Penny collection color called Lily Pond and this is a stunning color. We'll get to this in a little while. So we're going to start off with, again, the Laurentian color. I used this in one of the previous videos in our, in our blues because it does have quite a blue tone to it. And you'll see that blue tone really come out more when we compare it directly to the greens. But if you see it on its own, it really does seem like that's from vintage green. It's really fun, a great color to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and start paint that out so we can get some perspective on that. All right, beautiful. And then the next color that we have is really hot for spring right now. It's called Obison, and what it is, is sort of a yellow green. It's amazing. It's kind of a bit of a chameleon color as well, because depending on the lighting, it can go more green and darker, or it can be lighter and more of a yellow. In this direct comparison, it will absolutely look like yellow. It'll look like a sunny yellow. That's beautiful. So that, that color is called Obison, really pretty. It does have quite a muddy undertone to it though. So if you see it on its own, it looks like that yellow that's been sitting there for 30 years collecting dust. It's a really pretty color. And the next color is called Upper Canada Green. And this was one of the colors that we brought out about 15 years ago in the Homestead line. And it was sort of a nod to our heritage here in Canada and it's just one of those really pretty vibrant colors that you would see say in Quebec City and the reason that those colors are so vibrant there was quite oftentimes when sailors were returning home they had to try and point out their house so the roofs would all be painted different colors and we call this one Upper Canada Green. Once again a very muddy undertone as well but much more of a green in comparison to the Obison really pretty spring box color. So think of doing like a garden box or a feature piece. Upper Canada is going to stand out for you really nicely. Now I didn't think I was much of a vibrant uh, color type girl, but then when I was thinking of a fun, hot, trending color, I really wanted to add this color to the line. It's called Ceramic Green. Think of those old ceramic tiles and that punch of color you would see in them. That was the inspiration for this color here. It is highly pigmented, really gorgeous. Kind of reminds me of like Moroccan tiles, old Moroccan tiles. And the last but not least color that we have in our range of greens would be Lily Pond. And this is a brand new color that's just come out in the Michael Penny collection. And Michael's inspiration for this color was, this is what you often see when you're sanding down through old layers of paint. This is the color that is there from, you know, 50 or 60 years ago. Maybe some better light here. Now, this is a gorgeous blend of a different variation of a blue and a green tone. So it has both in there but it also has a lot of that raw umber pigment. So it looks like that super muddy vintage green. And you can see how much more soft and subtle it is in comparison to the ceramic. But let's go ahead and put it next to our Laurentian color. It doesn't look nearly as soft and subtle. And you know what? Just because I want to, I'm going to grab my Ingle Nook color and I'm going to paint out a little swatch of that as well. Ingle Nook, again, is one of our most popular colors in the line, so you may be familiar with it. And it's always good when you're trying to figure out what color, what a color looks like and you don't know, you don't have it in front of you. Take a color that you really do know and put it side by side. That way it'll really help to put in perspective the tone of all the other colors. So this is that Inglenook color, really soft gray, blue, green color, beautiful blend of all of them. Got a little bit too much paint on my brush here, so I'm getting some brush strokes. And 
and here we go. So we can see now between the lily pond and the ingle nook how much darker and more vibrant that lily pond is. And then of course, in direct comparison to the ceramic, that just is screaming at us. These are some really fun, beautiful spring colors to use. I would love to see what you create with them, and I hope that this color comparison has helped you put them in perspective.